Hi there, welcome to Lux Attic. In today's video we'll take a closer look at some of the most famous car logos, showing you the true meaning behind those emblems. Most of us can easily recognize the majority of car emblems and badges existing today. Some of you can even talk about performances and all kinds of technical specifications for the latest models, but very few actually know the real meaning behind these car names and badges. You might think they were randomly chosen at the time, but more often than not they involve tradition, folklore, and some, even mystery. We were curious to find out more about the world's most famous car emblems and their meaning, so we went on to do a bit of research of all the major automotive names, to find out from where their logos come from, and what they really mean. So here are 25 car emblems and their meaning, in alphabetical order. The first one. Alfa Romeo. The well-known Italian car brand Alfa Romeo has adopted a quite dramatic emblem, full of its country's tradition. The original emblem, designed by Italian draftsman Romano Cattaneo, uses Milanese features like the Visione, on the right side of the emblem, signifying the House of Visconti, which were the Milanese rulers in the 14th century. On the left side, there's the Milanese red cross on a white background. The badge was changed back in 1918 to include the dark blue ring that surrounds the emblem, on which the words Alfa Romeo Milano appear along the two Savoy dynasty knots for the Kingdom of Italy. The year 1925 brought further changes, which meant the addition of laurels, signifying Alfa P2's win at the Automobile World Championship. In 1945, after Italy's monarchy ended, the Savoy knots were removed. The most controversial part of Alfa Romeo's emblem, one that the company doesn't talk much about, is the crown serpent swallowing a man. The symbol apparently refers to the Crusades, where the Christians defeated the Moors, but the silence and mystery surrounding it, leave us bewildered. Next, Aston Martin. The iconic British automaker Aston Martin was founded by Lionel Martin and Robert Bamford back in 1913. It's one of the most well-known sports car brands in the world, and it's got an emblem that surely rises to the brand's fame. The founders were initially selling Singer cars, in their Bamford and Martin shop, before having the idea of producing their own automobiles. A few years later, their name changed into Aston Martin Motors, a combination between Martin's name, and the Aston Clinton Hill Climb, in Buckinghamshire, where Lionel Martin used to have fun driving now and then. The Aston Martin logo has evolved across time, but kept the same underlying motif, the wing, and the speed they denote. Initially a simple superimposed A and M letters, in a circle, it evolved into a V-shaped winged logo in 1927, and into the modern version in 1987. Today, its straight wings, and the Aston Martin name, right in the front and center, make it one of the most elegant car brand emblems right now. Next up. Audi. Audi and its four silver rings. In spite of what others might tell you, they've got no connection with the Olympic Games, even if they truly believe in it. The real meaning of Audi's emblem comes from the 1932 unification of the four oldest German car manufacturers, Audi, BKW, Hork, and Wanderer, forming what became known as the Auto Union. Automakers in the Union were allowed to use the four silver rings as a logo, while the others had to use their own. When 1985 came, the name Audi permanently took the place of the Auto Union. Audi, Latin derivative of, August, Hork, the founder of the original union, carried on making cars in the same German spirit, that characterized the old brands. The emblem went through some minor changes across the time, but today it looks almost the same as it looked in the past. Some would say that the Audi logo resembles the four-wheel drive, of the more modern Quattro, but although it makes sense, it has no connection. Next, we'll take a closer look at the Bentley logo. One of the most famous automakers out there, Bentley leaves a strong and powerful impression, both through the name itself and the emblem it chose to represent it, a bold capital B, surrounded by backward spread wings. The B comes from Walter Owen Bentley, the company's founder, and the wings from the original name of the company, Bentley Aero, as it first manufactured rotary engines for World War I planes. Next, BMW. Though very popular all over the world, BMW has stirred a little bit of controversy about the meaning of its emblem. Some claim that it comes from a propeller against the blue sky, referring to the early times when BMW was manufacturing airplane engines. The real meaning for BMW is in fact Bayerische Motoren Werke AG, or Bavarian Motor Works. The company was renamed from Rap Motor and Werke in 1928, and the initial emblem had the BMW inscription inside a black exterior circle. 
the blue and white panels were added later, inside a central circle, and represent the Bavarian flag. Today, the BMW emblem is almost the same as the past one, with a few minor changes of font and font color. Next up, Bugatti. Bugatti, one of the most powerful names in the automotive world, has an elegant emblem, which simply and elegantly, represents its founder's name initials, Ettore Bugatti. The company, which actually died with Ettore back in 1947, because he had no successor, was revived by Volkswagen, and continued to carry its name and emblem further into the future. Today, it's one of the most fascinating automakers in the world. Bugatti cars are very few in numbers, but they're all extremely exclusive. Next, we'll take a closer look at Chevrolet's logo. With a name not as big as the other ones on this list, Chevrolet wins through the mystery of its logo's origins, the iconic bow tie. There are several stories as to where it comes from, and what it stands for. One of them tells about a repeating pattern, on the wallpaper of a French hotel room, in which the co-founder of General Motors and Chevrolet, William C. Durant, was staying at some point. Another one, based on his wife's claim, says that he was actually inspired by a newspaper ad for Coalettes, which had the same bow tie outline. Several other stories about Louis Chevrolet, designing the bow tie as a modified Swiss cross, to honor his parents' homeland sustain this bow tie story, which stuck throughout time. Next up, Ferrari. One of the most prolific automakers in the world, Ferrari, had to have an emblem to match their legendary cars. The prancing horse proudly sits on the iconic car maker's logo. Its history goes back to Enzo Ferrari's first victory at the Savio circuit, where he met Count and Countess Enrico, and Paulina Baracca. Their son, who had passed away, was a fighter pilot, who had a prancing horse emblazoned on his plane. Enzo Ferrari was told that the symbol would bring him luck, so the prancing horse was quickly adopted. It was afterwards set on a yellow background, to represent Ferrari's factory, in the town of Modena. At first, since Ferrari cars were technically owned by Alfa Romeo, the emblem was only used in written publications and papers. It was featured on the cars for the first time, in the summer of 1932, at the spot 24 hours. Later on, in 1963, the emblem was renewed to show today's relief version of the prancing horse. Next up, one of the oldest automakers in the world. Ford. Ford Motor Company got its blue oval back in 1927. Since then, the recognizable Ford emblem hasn't gone through too many changes. Initially, the emblem was overcrowded with the script, Ford Motor Company Detroit, on a black and white background. Years later, only the name Ford stuck and the badge got its blue oval. Next up, Honda. Honda's Silver Age emblem might not look very special in any way, but its elegance and simplicity speak about the brand's philosophy. The H comes from Soichiro Honda, the company's founder, who used to be a mechanic, tuner, and racer, with his biggest dream to own an auto factory. He managed to do that, by transforming Honda into the largest builder of motorcycles, and the second largest builder of cars in Japan. The company is known for its mass-market engines, which are direct derivations of their racing versions, thus giving them an unmatched quality, and reliability, in tune with what the bold logo speaks about. From Honda, we're moving on to Hyundai. While Hyundai's emblem appears as just a copied, and modified version, of the Honda logo, it means a little more. The leaned H from Hyundai, represents both a brand name, and two people shaking hands. The oval around it, adds a symbolic perpetuity, that Hyundai pursues in its business. Next up, Infinity. If you didn't know yet, Infinity is Nissan's luxury auto brand. Its logo is simple but original, with an interesting meaning. There's a partial oval surrounding a road, that loses itself into the disc tank, or maybe into infinity. The badge is similar with the one from Oldsmobile, which shows a road spanning into the distance, and finally veering to the right. Next, Jaguar. Jaguar is a powerful British car brand, and the logo conveys that as well. There's nothing mysterious about the badge, which first had the letters SS, in a hexagon, on top of an eagle's wings and tail, referring to the SS Jaguar, that was produced by the Shallow Sidecar Company, back in 1935. A decade later, the Jaguar Cat made its first apparition on the company's emblem, conveying power and agility without any other hidden meanings. Their cars have already proven those qualities to the entire world. Next up, another legendary supercar maker. Lamborghini. 
with a history going back to 1962, when the company founder Ferruccio Lamborghini, visited Don Eduardo Miura's ranch of fighting bulls. The animals left a very strong impression on Lamborghini, so he adopted the bull, as the emblem for his radical cars. What's more, he also started using names, and terms, from the fighting bulls world for his car models, except Miura, which was the name of the breeder he met at the ranch. All the other, the Aventador, Diablo, Gallardo, Murcielago, Morocco, Islero, Chalpa, or Espada, are a match to the bull emblem. Out of them all, only Contach doesn't seem to have any connection with the bullfighting world. Next, Lexus. Lexus is a luxury car brand made by Toyota, that made its first apparition only in 1989. Due to the little history behind, the brand's emblem hasn't got a very deep, or elaborate meaning. It's simple and comes from the name Alexis, the original name they planned to give the cars. The name further became a Lexus, and finally Lexus stuck. There are some stories, going around, that Lexus stands for luxury exports to the US, but while it's a fun claim, it's not true at all. Next, another popular British sports car maker. Lotus. Founded by Anthony Colin Bruce Chapman, Lotus has had the same emblem since 1952, when the company Lotus Engineering Limited was founded. Though the origins of the name are unknown, the logo borrows that period's popular British racing green in the background, surrounded by a yellow, thought to come from the sunny perspective of Chapman, for his car's future. After seeing success in the world of Formula One, the company got through some struggles in the 70s and the early 80s, only to be rescued by the sale of the famous Lotus Esprit Turbo, on the North American market. Though Chapman passed away in 1954, his company lived on, to see the better future envisioned. Today, Lotus produces some of the best cars in the world. Next up. Maserati. Since its inception, back in 1926, with the Tipo 26, Maserati has kept its Trident logo almost unchanged. It drew inspiration from the iconic statue of Neptune, the god of the sea, from the Piazza Maggiore, in Bologna, Italy, where the first headquarters of the company were situated. Neptune is shown wielding his legendary Trident scepter. Added to the Maserati logo are the colors red and blue, which represent Bologna. Next, Mazda. Mazda first got its logo back in 1936, when it was a triple stacked M, resembling the initials for Mazda Motor Manufacturer. Part of the inspiration came from Hiroshima's emblem, which was the company hometown. Apart from the M's, there were a pair of wings, symbolizing agility speed, and the ability to soar to new heights. When Mazda got to manufacturing commercial vehicles in 1959, its logo received a new shape, with the letter M in the center of a circle. The emblem got through several other iterations across the years, before establishing the logo that you see today. The last version, adopted in 1997, shows an M and a B shape in an oval, with a pair of wings turned up, reminding of the company's desire to soar to the new heights. Next, Mercedes-Benz. The famed Mercedes-Benz, part of the larger Daimler Motoren Gesellschaft, got its iconic three-pointed star logo, back in 1909. After DMG founder, Gottlieb Daimler, passed away in 1900, his sons, in search for a new logo for the brand, turned to the star symbol of their father's home, which represented future prosperity for the company. The three-pointed star logo was well received, but it was not the only one. The board at Daimler also registered a four-pointed star, as a second trademark. Across time, only the three-pointed star version survived, apparently representing Daimler's goal to power air, land and sea vehicles alike. The logo received only minor changes ever since. In 1916 it received the circle around the star, and finally ended up with today's silver star, inside a silver circle. Next, we'll take a closer look at Nissan's logo. The simple Nissan emblem that you see today, though it doesn't betray much, began many years ago, and started from the iconic rising sun symbol of Japan. It all began when Nissan acquired the control of the old Datsun, or Dat Motors, which used as a logo, their name in a blue rectangle, over a red circle, the rising sun of Japan's national flag. The actual logo of the Nissan brand took shape in 2001, and it's basically a modern interpretation of Datsun's original logo. They utilize chrome, which conveys the modernity, creativity and sophistication. Next up, Porsche. We have to admit that the Porsche emblem is one of the most attractive car emblems ever created. The Porsche crest in gold, black and red, is also one that stood the test of time, 
since it was created back in 1952, by Ferdinand Porsche. The emblem clearly reminds of the city of Stuttgart, where the company has its headquarters. The horse is connected to the city's origins, a stud farm. The antlers, and the red and black stripes, represent the old kingdom of Württemberg, which used to be a state in the Federal Republic of Germany. As the brand's amazing legacy, the Porsche logo remained unchanged across time. Next, Subaru. Subaru doesn't say much at first, but it's really an emblem loaded with meaning. The name itself means the Pleiades in Japanese, which point to the star cluster, in the Taurus constellation. The emblem used on their cars, shows the six most visible of these stars to the naked eye, Electra, Maya, Tejidi, Sterapi, Selene, and Alcyone. The stars also bear meaning for the company. They represent the 1953 merging of five companies into a large one, with the five stars representing the merged companies, and the big star obviously the large resulting company. We're getting close to the end of this video. Next up, Toyota. Some say Toyota's emblem has an artistic sense, others that it's a bloated interpretation of the letter T, but it actually goes a lot deeper than that with the meaning. The ovals that overlap each other symbolize the trust between Toyota and its customers. The white space around the T is seen as the future potential of the company. The other three ovals, apparently depict the collective hearts of the customers, the cars, and the technological opportunities, that lie in the future. Next, Volkswagen. Volkswagen is one of the largest, and most known car manufacturers in the world, which is somehow in tune with its emblem. Simple, wrapped in a circle, the V and the W convey a lot of meaning. The first letter stands for Volks, which is German for people, with the W meaning wagon, or cars. The V stacked on top of the W also conveys the idea that people ride on the cars, which makes sense. It's simple, probably one of the simplest logos in the auto world, yet iconic. Last but not least, Volvo. Despite what many would think, given the car's origins, the name Volvo isn't Swedish at all. It sprung from the Latin word Volvere, which means roll. Volvo thus means I roll. Couldn't have been a better fit for a car company name. The original emblem of the brand, adopted in 1927, came with a blue oval with the Volvo name in the center, and Gothenburg, Sweden, the brand's headquarters, on a banner beneath the name. When 1930 came Volvo adopted the symbol that you see today, the Iron Alchemy, Greek male or Mars, the God of War symbol. The company took only the first association as their symbol, conveying strength, protection and innovation. Just a few years ago, they simplified their badge, by moving their name completely inside the circle. The Volvo emblem still keeps its widely recognizable symbols, even after they've been acquired by the Geely Auto Group from China. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that like button, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.